All right, this is a quick video on how to make the rubber band launch rocket. Need that piece of uh, regular paper. Uh, we're gonna take our paper and put it in the landscape mode. So it's not gonna be this way, it's gonna be uh, this way. So what we're gonna do, we're going to fold this down right here. And sorry, there will be no measurements in this video. Put down there, and we're going to fold it. Like so, to here. Alright, put it back, obviously. Crease out a little bit. Fold it down here. And here. I'm just doing this so I can get it as even as possible. Now you can use 20 weight paper. Um, I prefer to make the rockets with 24 to 28 weight paper, but if you have 20 lying around, you got what you got. Let's just use it. I'm gonna go ahead and get prep this for the fold. That's how I do that stuff. And that part missed. And this. So the other one, I'm gonna do it too close together. This is gonna be easier so when we overlay it. Through here, through here. Okay, so then after that, I'm going to fold it here. Make sure I get it good and prepped first. And I have to be kind of quiet because it's night and my children are asleep. I don't want to wake them up. I'm in my fiance's office, so. I'm not really supposed to be in here with it. It's better in the kitchen. Here. Okay. Hold here. Okay, we're next to now that. Now we're gonna bring it over. Like a paper plane. This does involve some a tape, but not a lot. So you don't have to go crazy with the tape. Because I am with the tape. So we're gonna take the tape. I have the same type of tape most of you have lying lying around your house. Take this off. And um this doesn't really matter how long you don't have to be perfect with it or anything, no specific size. We're gonna try and get it into the middle of it. Um, so we can lock it together, hold it together for us. So like so, I'm gonna turn it back. I'm gonna put it here. Okay, I'll right, do that. Okay, now I might make this too even, but it doesn't have to really be perfect. Okay, so I just uh, cut some of this extra off. Not really too important, but I like to because it's kind of bugging me. All right, so now we're gonna take some more tape. Since we're not coating this one, we can. But I'm not gonna do that because most people don't like doing it. I'm gonna take this tape and put it in the middle of here, see like this, and then I'm gonna turn it over like so. Okay, make sure we get it. Are we gonna put the other piece on? Um. Now we're going to take another piece of tape. We're going to take this other tape, do the same thing, but to the bottom part here. So you know, like so. I probably should have used color tape so you guys can see it because the tape is clear. Okay, so then once you have all of that on there, then just clean it up. So we're gonna cut the extra tape off. Like so. All right, so we're almost there, guys. Now you're gonna take your scissors or whatever you have, your scissors, kind of match this part down now. Make sure it's not this overlay part, make it just the smooth part. Match it down, and this is because we have to cut a slot in here. Now I can make a hitch and do it too, but it's lots better. I think it is anyway. 
after you have your slot cut in, I mean, put smooth in there. We're going to take the scissors right here. We're going to cut. Don't cut the, the nose off now. But cut it about right here. Take your other part. Just cut your slot in there. Kind of break this piece out. Okay. Have that. Now, having your aircraft lay like this. And this part right here, we're going to, from this uh, line here, we're going to fold with the back part being the biggest, like so. So it's going to like that. I'm going to pull it back out just a little bit. Then, seeing how the aircraft is, this, uh, I mean, the, the rocket, uh, this part right here, we're going to twist. So we're going to twist this this way. So you're going to hold it and just kind of twist it, not crazy with it, but a little bit of pressure on on the twist and you're going to get this um let me get it focused see how it's kind of um it's kind of uh, at an angle going this way now the reason why you want to do this what this does is and i know a lot of people think the paper rocket sounds stupid um but it's really not what what you're doing basically is when you launch this off into the air with the rubber band um you're going to you can hold it by the tail, and put the rubber band here and have it aimed. What you're going to do is it's going to go up in the air. It's going to go really, really high. And that's cool. And, you know, most people stop right there. They want it to go really high. And they're like, wow, great. And then it plummets back to the earth and hits the ground. And those gets all bent up, dent up, everything. What I have uh, de um, developed here is it's going to go high in the air, straight. It's going to spin itself. And then once it reaches its peak altitude... If, you, if it's done right or trimmed right, because you do have to trim it a little bit just to get to work right sometimes. Once it gets up there, it's going gonna, it's gonna to turn itself around. And then it's going to start spinning and it's going to come down spinning like this. Like, um, you say, like a, a maple leaf or something, like a seed. It's going to come down like a helicopter and it's going to make it come down very slow. Like it's going to come down really, really slow. And the reason why I did that was to ensure that the paper rockets wouldn't destroy themselves. Because I don't say hit the ground the height that they go. They're going to get banged up pretty bad and after a while they're not going to be used anymore so i did this just to make it come down slow and save itself but it's pretty cool because it goes up so high you get the thrill of it going up very high and then you also get that thrill of it coming down really slowly spinning and saving itself you accomplish that and so that's what i have done with the paper rocket hold on really quick okay and also let me get one thing straight the rubber bands you want to use these are folder desk um, rubber bands right here. You can pick them up for Walmart like two or three dollars. They're not too expensive. Um, but what you can do, obviously, it's going to go. Obviously, common sense will tell you it goes in there, and you're gonna you can hold it right here, and you're gonna have it aimed up. And when you're holding this, you can actually use just one rubber band if you want to. And I usually do that uh, sometimes, but if you want even more. A smoother launch or torque. I just usually more torque. You put these two together, pull them, you know, obviously together. You guys know how to do that. And um, you can uh, put your rubber band in then inside like that. And they have a little bit more torque because you can't do it all right here because you won't really have much torque at all. Um, you can do it like that. And um, also, it's good because if one breaks, then you still have that other one you can go off of. But yeah, make sure you aim it up straight. And let go and it'll go really high and it's going to come down if you did it right it's going to come down really slowly um but if it doesn't work the first time whatever you can take this little piece right here you can either bring it out more with your finger doing this or you can bring it inwards more like this and that may uh, stabilize a little bit better so that's pretty much it and if you want to uh, you can just have that one piece holding it tape if you want or if you want to more secure you can take you some more tape and um put it on some of this uh right here and just bring it down and then um you don't have to but you can you can do this if you want something like, actually i coat mine completely but I, a lot of people don't like uh coating so um all the way so i'll take this and just kind of this here And then about 
sums it all up right there. So, I hope you guys like and enjoy. And um, post up your videos. Let me see your results. And this is uh, Powerhouse Paper Plain Rogers. Make sure to like, share, subscribe. And just go out there and do it. And uh, post your videos up. Let me see how y'all's went. Take care. Peace out. Love you guys. Bye.